Understanding Wrath of the Gods, a deep dive into English idioms. Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel, where we explore the fascinating world of the English language. Today, we're delving into a powerful and evocative phrase, Wrath of the Gods. This expression is rich in history and meaning, and by understanding it, you can enhance your English language skills significantly. So, let's embark on this exciting journey together. The phrase, Wrath of the Gods, has its roots in ancient mythology and religion. Wrath means intense anger, and when combined with the gods, it refers to the fierce anger of divine beings. Originally, this phrase was used in the context of mythology to describe the punishment or misfortune inflicted by gods and humans as a result of their actions. It paints a picture of powerful deities expressing their displeasure in dramatic and often destructive ways. In modern English, the phrase is used more symbolically. When someone mentions the wrath of the gods, they are often talking about an overwhelming or unavoidable misfortune that seems almost supernatural in its scale and impact. It's like saying a situation is so bad, it's as if divine forces are expressing their anger. This expression is often used to describe natural disasters, extreme weather, or any catastrophic event that feels beyond human control. Let's look at some examples to see how this phrase can be used in everyday language. After the volcano erupted, the villagers felt like they were experiencing the wrath of the gods. When all three of her flights got cancelled in one day, Maria joked that she must have incurred the wrath of the gods. Notice how in these examples, the phrase is used to describe situations that are extreme and beyond normal human experience. The phrase, wrath of the gods, is also prevalent in literature and media. It's often used to add drama or to convey the severity of a situation. In books, movies, and TV shows, this expression can be found to describe battles, natural disasters, or other catastrophic events. Its usage in these contexts helps to evoke a sense of awe and fear, similar to its original mythological roots. I hope this exploration of the phrase, wrath of the gods, has been enlightening and enjoyable. Understanding expressions like this not only helps in learning English but also in appreciating the rich cultural and historical contexts behind the language. Keep practicing, and don't let the wrath of the gods of English learning overwhelm you. Until next time, happy learning!